Hey, what's going on guys? Max here. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Facegood's 4D facial animation that they've been working on recently. Facegood has perfected the 4D facial animation pipeline, and I'm here to tell you how they've done it. It all begins with their new mocap helmet, the P2. It contains dual mounted cameras that are capable of recording a performance at up to 240 frames per second. All right, so real quick, this new P2 helmet is not the same one that's on their website right now that's $40,000. Okay, I just want to clear that out. Um, they do not have a price for this helmet yet, uh, so I can't say if it's going to be more than $40,000 or less. Uh, it's still going to be probably out of my budget, but I just want to clear it out. This is not the same one on their website. After acquiring footage, it needs to be tracked and stabilized by FaceGood Evathory software. This 2D tracking process uses markers on the face, in this case, 99 strategically placed dots, along with facial landmark contours of the subject to fully stabilize the footage and prepare it to be measurified, if that's a word. In other words, this manually annotated tracking process will help Evathory to do magic those dots you see on the screen will become a full 3D mesh. Evathory does this by turning the 2D tracking results into a 3D point cloud. And from that cloud, it produces a mesh with full topology. These meshes are stored as an object sequence on your hard drive. How long does this process take? A miraculous three seconds per frame. Now feast your eyes on the finished product. Every movement, every twitch of a muscle, even the stickiness of the lips are faithfully recorded. You are not just looking at a mere representation of a facial performance. This is the actual performance. And the best news of all is this won't be a service. All the hardware and software you need to do this yourself in your own studio will be available for purchase at a reasonable price. This is the future. This is face good. All right, so let's talk about this a little bit more. So this right here is the Avatari software, which I have access to, which is free. Um, but obviously I don't have the uh, 40 because it's not out yet. Uh, so if you want to download it, go check it out because it's the same process, similar to the same process how, how I do it sometimes with face good although I don't need markers for the 2d ones that I'm doing but this is the same thing and again what's crazy about 4d is and I talked about this in my video when I talked about the matrix demo when I whenever they use 4d facial animation there are only a handful of companies that do this and they do it for a fee and it costs a lot of money. So whenever I uploaded that picture of Tencent kind of acquiring Facegood or, or holding the most shares, people were asking, well, what's the big deal? The big deal is now this company is going to make this available to the public. And now when I say the public, that's not me, at least for now, because this is still going to be expensive. This is still going to be for your AAA studios and Netflix and Hollywood movies but at least it's open to the public and eventually my hope is that in a decade or so it's going to become available to us kind of like low-end youtubers uh indie filmmakers i know it's still going to be a lot of money but it's just nice to see where the future is heading and like he said in the video this doesn't track the face and apply the motion to controllers like a meta human this creates a mesh if you're familiar with CG, you know that a CG mesh is just a bunch of points, right? Sometimes you can go to vertice mode and you'll see a lot of dots. So this is pretty much the same tech. It uses those dots and it just creates a CG object, as you can see. And in Maya right here, we really see that full CG object. Now what's cool about this, another thing that's cool about this is I don't know if you've seen Mission Impossible. Now in the future, my guess is that you can use the same technology to, let's say you put it on a person, you copy their facial animation, and then 3D print that, and then you can wear that person's face. And 
potentially copy the way they talk. And again, this was Mission Impossible movie that I saw, but this tech right here really reminds me of that. It is crazy to think about that and how we are progressing as a society and technology with robotics, with NVIDIA's AI. Man, it is such a cool time to be alive. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the end of this video. I'm gonna be watching this really close. Uh, even though it's not gonna be affordable for me yet, I'm sure in the future it will be. And a lot of AAA studios and you know small studios are gonna be celebrating and really enjoying this tool.